guys, it's Peanut Nut Ice Cream Bar and Mars in yet another type of blue wig. <gasps> so today I'm going to be talking about Mars as he developed as a character, but also how he developed as a doll, because the two are quite inter-intermingled. If you haven't seen this character's intro, the cocktail based off this character, or any of his backstory, you might want to check those videos out too. I'll link to some of them in the description box below, and hopefully from there you can kind of figure your way around. So Mars developed in kind of a really weirdly similar way as Herbert did, in that he was originally written as a character, but not ever meant to be a ball joint doll. But knowing that, I find that it's pretty obvious that Mars visually is really linked uh, to his his doll persona, his doll form, because pretty much everything I know about Mars visually comes from having him as a doll. That's how quickly his character became a ball joint doll. It's kind of weird in that way because usually I can say to myself like, oh, Casper would never wear those shoes, or like, that hair's perfect, oh my god, that's so Casper. But with Mars, I'm just like, is this Mars? Would Mars wear this? I mean, the only reason he has blue hair is because I was thinking in pictures with Chelsea, I wanted their hair to have a stark contrast like red and blue. I'm not sure if blue hair is really Mars, and I feel like I have no way of knowing if it is or if it isn't until I make him a billion blue wigs and, you know, none of them work. Anyway, let's talk about his development as a character. So the seed for Mars was born out of one simple thing, and that thing was stress. If you have completed your education, no matter what level of education that was, if you've completed your education, you know what kind of stress I'm talking about. The kind of thrown out into the deep end, now live your life kind of stress. The okay, you're done, no one's gonna help you anymore kind of stress. The okay, what is the rest of your life gonna be kind of stress. That was the stress that created this character. I made Mars as a way of talking about that stress without actually talking about it, which is like probably super healthy. Aww. And from that kind of all-important corner piece of his personality, I kind of started creating this character. I wanted him to have some of the qualities of someone under a lot of stress, like low self-esteem, self-doubt, paranoia, especially having to do with social situations. Desperate to be loved and have attention, despite inwardly carrying a victim's mentality so large, it's hard to truly, really deeply care for other people, at least in a really fulfilling way. I also wanted him, wanted him to be the, the hero of my story. I find that a lot of your stereotypes typical heroes have this kind of victim's mentality, this everything happens to me mentality, and you know, whether it's good writing or not, in a lot of stories, everything actually does happen to the hero. Of course, in those types of stories, they're always on some heroic quest and they have some destiny mission, and I really wanted to play off that, that everything happens to me. For Mars, it's really actually, in reality, just the way that he's thinking. It's just his pattern of thought that is allowing him to feel that way. I wanted this flaw to be really present in the storytelling and really present in his character and actually be presented as a flaw as opposed to martyr, heroic destiny kind of thing. I wanted it to be such a big factor that the audience eventually would realize the villain is not Chelsea or any other outside factor. Mars is both the hero and the villain of the story. Like, the real villain is Mars and his way of thinking. Really quickly, I just wanted to go back and talk for a little bit more about how being a doll affected this character, because I realized I kind of skimmed over that really quickly. I'm still sick. Give me a little break here. Like I said, I did, said I did Mars thinking I would have him in doll form. It didn't happen until I realized the character who betrays him was a lot like Chelsea, who I already had in doll form. At the time, Chelsea was one of the characters whose backstories I hadn't worked on that much because, interestingly enough, he was also a character whose sculpt used to belong to a totally different character. And I still hadn't really riddled out who I wanted Chelsea to be before he ended up in the building with all my other doll characters in this weird kind of crossover world. So I thought, hey, Chelsea would be great as the character in Mars's story, and I realized at the same time that I had a head of a character that I had kind of lost interest in, and I still had this head kind of floating around not doing anything, and I thought, hmm, what if that could be Mars? And poof, 
now it is Mars. <laughs> the interesting thing about that is that character who used to belong to this sculpt was called Abby, and I've found over time a weird amount of similarities between the two, which I guess isn't too shocking because they're both written by the same person. I mean, outwardly they were pretty different. Mars is a guy who wears his emotions on his sleeves and does things like cry in public. Abby, on the other hand, was cold and calculating, he had OCD, and the most intimate he ever wanted to be with someone was disputing a credit card charge over the phone. And yet, at their core, they're very similar people with very similar motivations uh, in each story. You know, this fear of rejection, this desire to be loved, this uh, self-doubt, and anger that they have because of all of those things. Not that anyone can't feel those things, just that those are major motivations for what the characters did in their own stories. Anyway, that's all for today, but I'm actually curious, has anyone ever done this with a character or a character or all like it was one character and then you're like, I don't really care about that character, let's turn it into this character, and then you find that the original one kind of seeps into the new one? Like, I feel like Abby and my new idea for a character had a baby, and that was Mars. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Am I making any sense at all? I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to all of you soon, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.